Nabi Musa is traveling right next to the river and he sees that right next to the river there is a small garden and there's a man sitting there repenting and his flesh on his body is now rotting. He's not well but he's still repenting. He says to Allah, oh Allah, who is this man? Allah says, Musa, go and ask him. While Hazrat Musa wants to go, there's a bird that comes, brings in a pomegranate, you know, fruits, opens up and feeds that man and leaves. Comes back, feeds, again leaves. Hazrat Musa goes and says, who are you? He said, how did you find me? I'm hiding here, doing Tawbah, I'm repenting. He said, Allah guided me to you. He said, who are you? He said, I am Musa. He said, which Musa? Kalimullah, the one who speaks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Yes. He said, I'm repenting here for 35 years. Can you ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, has he forgiven me my sins? I'm very sinful. Nabi Musa alayhi salam said, oh Allah, what shall I tell him? Have you forgiven him? Have you not? Allah said, Musa, tell him. I have not forgiven him. He's not been forgiven. So that the Musa says, you've not been forgiven. He says, why has your Lord not forgiven me? Is he not Ghafoor or Rahim? Is he not forgiving? Why has he not forgiven me? He said, oh Allah, what shall I tell him? He said, tell him that for these 35 years that he's been sitting here repenting, I have been sending this angel that has been coming in the shape of a bird that feeds him for 35 years. Not once has this man asked that bird, have you had anything yourself or have you just been feeding me? Not once he's asked a bird, have you had anything? Shall I feed you? He's so selfish. He's only thinking about himself. Nabi Musa told the man, he said, you are so sinful and you are selfish. That's why Allah hasn't forgiven you. He said, oh Musa, ask your Lord, will he give me anything in return? For all of these 35 years of ibadat, will Allah give me something for this? Nabi Musa said, oh Allah, what shall I tell him? He said, Musa, tell him I will accept one dua. One prayer, I'll grant him. Ask, tell him to ask me something and I'll give it to him. One thing. That man said, Musa, ask your Lord me to make me so big that only I fit in hellfire. No one else can come in. I'm so big, only I go to hell. Nabi Musa said, Allah says, he has now forgiven you. He says, why? Why has he forgiven me now? He didn't forgive me for 35 years. Why now? Does he want to send other people to hell and because he doesn't want me to be so big so other people cannot fit in? He said, no. Then you were not even thinking about one bird. Now you're thinking about all of my makhluk, all of my creation, all of my makhlukat. Yes? You're thinking about all of my creation. You have now rid yourself from that selfishness. Don't be self-centered. Imam Hassan Mushtaba Islam says, you know, when you sit down on the dinner table, think of others, feed them first, ask them, do you need anything? Don't feed yourself first.